it is time to build your own radiation shield bed box for less than $10. Hello, everyone. This is Mark Scheller. I'm a real estate broker, and I am a huge, huge proponent of consumer safety everywhere. Everywhere. So three years ago, I kept waking up at night and my cell phone was right there. Sometimes it had even slidden underneath my pillow. So not only was my cell phone in my bed, but it was right there by my head also, which is not cool. I had this idea to build a box for my nightstand, wrap it in EMI shielding fabric, and keep that harmful radiation from leaving the phone and going right through my body. Now, typically on YouTube, we are going to see the unboxing of various types of products. But today, instead of unboxing, I want us to create a box. We are going to do all of that and more next. <laughs> So I suggest that our cell phones are connected both to Wi-Fi within our house and then also to the cell phone towers that are outside of the house. So I would consider my cell phone at night to be alive. It's alive. All right. As a result, when we think our phones are dormant, it is still receiving, it is transmitting, and it's updating in the middle of the night. EMI is entering the device and leaving the device while we sleep right next to it. Well, I don't want that harmful EMI or radiation going right through my brain while I sleep. So it's what I call solution time. All right. I propose that we craft with our own hands a shield that will protect our brains from these midnight waves of EMI. I call it a bed box. And for less than $10, you can make one for yourself and for your loved ones. Next, we are going to transition into doing that project and try to make something useful for our health and safety. So here is just one example of the type of box that we can choose to create this anti-radiation box that goes next to our bed. It is milk bone. It is large, and when I looked at the size, it's just about the perfect size for most smartphones. It's also very expensive, $3.96, but you get to keep the treats that are inside. And we're back. The project for today is let's build a box. And this is going to be very technical, like a big scientific experiment. For the first stage, we are going to need a box like this, like you just saw. $3.96. And then we are going to use a Ziploc bag. I know, it's crazy. And then the third piece we're going to use is a scissor. Okay, so we will get going. Okay, so here we have our shell. It will be our container for our bed box. Okay, so now it's time for stage two. We are going to need our EMI Faraday shielding tape. This stuff, if tape can be really cool. This is the shielding tape that EMI and radiation cannot, very little of it can get through. And then we are going to use our clear tape like people use every week. Okay. And then the third one is, is a roll of black or whatever color you choose duct tape. Okay. And what engineer doesn't love duct tape? Okay. So uh, let's get going on the next phase of this, which is lining the box with the EMI tape to keep the radiation from going through it. Okay.
So here is an example of the three-sided milk bone box, and it's got the Faraday tape, the EMI tape, all the way around the inside, and then it's got the duct tape holding it in place for a long time. Okay, the bottom of this box is just 20-point chipboard. It's very cheap, very thin. So I think it's a good idea to take a piece of cheesecloth like this from about any big box store. This piece was a dollar, and I put the cheesecloth in the box like so and that creates a soft surface on which your cell phone can sit now the reason why the three sides are shielded is because typically when you're sleeping you're laying down and on your nightstand next to you it's pretty much horizontal so this is keeping the radiation from coming horizontal towards your brain i understand the radiation can still go vertically but uh, typically radiation doesn't bend so this is this is helpful all right this is a milk bone dog box many people have beautiful furniture in their house and in their bedroom and they don't want this sitting on their headboard okay so there's all different types this is some sort of tortoise duct tape okay i'm not going to put it on right now and waste your time with that but the outside of the the outside of these surfaces can be black the outside of these surfaces can be kind of rust or wooden color the same color it could be white same color as your furniture so that when you walk into your bedroom it's not like oh what is that weird thing okay so this is an example of the bed box i'm looking for one more step to make this bed box efficient for you and so what i do is i take a screwdriver and i get rid of the cheesecloth and i push the screwdriver towards right through the corner okay and then I take a scissor and through that corner, I'm going to chop off, there it goes, chop off a couple different ways. And I make this, I make this hole bigger for a, can you see that? Okay, for a cord. All right. And here is your typical cell phone charger pad. And this is the, this is the plug that goes into the wall. That's the adapter. Okay, and I take the adapter and I put it through here and pull it through, pull it through to the inside. Okay, you're picking up what I'm putting down and then you connect it back with your charger and you pull it back through and you put your cheesecloth down and you put your charger on your cheesecloth so I adjust it here just right, and we have a fully assembled radiation bed box. Okay, three-sided, keeps the radiation in. At night, you set your cell phone on top of here. It glows blue or it shows you that it's charging, and you should be good to go, radiation-free throughout the night. Okay, everyone, that's it for this week's video. I'm asking if that was helpful at all. My goal here is to protect the brain health of cell phone users who sleep with their phones. Let me know that you are watching and that you care. Like the video below, subscribe for me below, and write me back with your commentary and your questions, okay? Protect your brain health, everyone, and make sure to shield your brains from the harmful radiation that comes out of your cell phones. This is Mark Scheller, signing off.